so it's uh, 914. 9.14. Right there. It's dark outside. My room is still a mess. <clears throat> haven't cleaned anything. Yeah, I was working on this just a little bit and I got annoyed with it and decided to put it to one side. I really don't like this part of the um, dragon and I need to figure out a way to make that not look like it's popping so much. So I'm just sitting here and I'm going through my book that Jeremy gave me a couple years ago for Christmas. These are my um, Peerless Watercolors and I've made a video on these before and I honestly wouldn't recommend um, anyone to buy them if you don't have patience or if you use a lot of paint because um, I get sick and tired of swapping these out and I bought some and I just barely got enough color off of them to make a color swatch and they don't work anymore. Um, I can't get anything off it. This one right here I bought, um, well it came with a set but I bought this one and um, the whole sheet you can't get any color off it whatsoever so it was pretty much a dud but this was a, um, a thing on Jane Davenport's site that you could print so it's just you know like a grid and then you can cut them out because this is what they look like they're in they're this big so they're a nice size they fit in the palm of your hand so I've cut out a little tiny square in the corner and put them on here. And it's really good, you know, because you can take it and stick it in the back of your journal and be done with it and take it wherever you want. Um, but this is a journal that uh, Jeremy gave me a couple years ago. This is what I have in it so far. So I started this on March 27, 2016. I know I've shown this before. I don't know. Uh, I can't really tell what I've been putting in my vlogs lately. It's like I haven't even been all there. These are some of the illustrations that I did. Um, my little version of Alice. And this was uh, a prompt that I got off the internet. A mermaid that I did with metallics. And I hit her hand because I have trouble drawing hands. And this is the last page of the book. I really like this character right here. Um, if I had it back, I would put more detail into the dress. Uh, so she didn't look so, um, the dress didn't look so dull, and I would have put more shading in her face and everything. That's pretty much all I have in there. I did try to paint something, I didn't like it, so I cut it out. But, yeah, I'm just, um, just stressing out a little bit, and my blood pressure and everything is up tonight. As you can tell, I'm all red, and it's just, um, I've been pretty frustrated. Whoops. I've been pretty frustrated with everything, and I had a really rough day and I'm just I'm just so tired and I just I can't wait for the week to be over it's only a short week and I thought that this week was gonna be really um, really good and really quick but it's turning out that this week is kicking my butt and I don't like it I don't like it at all um, I've got nothing to vlog about so I'm not gonna sit here and, and let you guys um, listen to me just rant on so this is probably gonna be a two or three day vlog again because there's just not a whole lot going on right now hey guys it's uh, Wednesday evening it's about seven o'clock Jeremy just left for work and as you can see I'm in the disgusting bathroom and I'm only showing this to you guys now because it is getting renovated like right now I'm starting um, we're not pulling out anything. I'm repainting the bathtub and the walls, um, even the plastic or the acrylic um, kits that are going around the walls and painting all that as well because we just don't have the money to go and buy all new crap and replace all this. So I'm trying to be crafty with it to make it look better than what it is and still, you know, not pay an arm and a leg to get stuff done. So we bought Rust-Oleum paint, spray paint, and a Rust-Oleum um, tub and tile kit. So I'm gonna sand the bathtub, sand the walls um, for that. Take all the caulking and everything off so I can uh, get all that painted. Then I have to um, sand the walls and everything tonight as well. Basically tonight I'm sanding and cleaning and prepping the bathroom. If I get a chance to uh, paint the um, wall behind the sink here, I might do that. But there are some uh, spots on the tub that need to be repaired 
and and whatnot so and I want to get all of the plaster spots and everything sanded off so that's the thing tonight the shower rod is getting replaced and this has got to go it's been there long enough so that's uh that's gonna go and uh, I'm only showing this to you guys because it is getting renovated like this is really embarrassing because you can see the people that used to live here were heavy heavy smokers and we lived here for five years and it's only been the last two years that we've really had enough money to start renovating the house so this is the start of it Jeremy is actually going to finish painting the hallway and um, and the ceiling and everything out there so I can focus on the bathroom so he's gonna do that on his days off um, so he says and uh, then I'm going to attack the kitchen after I'm done um, working in here but I got a lot of work to do in here so I'm gonna go and uh, get started bad thing is as soon as I start ripping the caulking and everything off the walls we can't take a shower so that's why I showered today so as nasty as it is I can't shower anymore until Sunday because we only have one shower so I have to do my best not to get relatively dirty I know disgusting right what do you do I don't know the first step to renovating is to make sure you have the proper gear if you're sanding god I can't breathe through this I hope you guys can hear me don't I look ridiculous all right guys I got the shower curtain down that is nasty up there on the ceiling I'm gonna clean that off in just a moment and uh, everything the thing is taken down I kind of broke the wall just slightly uh, right there it's not completely horrible and I got a mess to clean up over here and I sanded that down as much as I can even though it still looks like there's a lot of plaster on the wall I can't I just can't go any closer than that without um, going back to the holes that were there before so that's that and I just mopped all the um, dust and everything off the floor and now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to sand the tub I think that's what I'm going to end up doing that mat I can't get it off um, it's stuck on there pretty good so I am going to paint around it and I'm going to spray paint this mat white. Some people may think that I'm crazy. It's a stupid idea. I don't know what else to do. I'm not a handy person. We don't have any help. We don't have the money to pay for someone to come do it. So, like I said before, I'm just being crafty. So, any people that want to come on here and tell me that I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing, I don't. I completely agree with you. But this is our only option. And I'm just trying to do what works. So, I'm going to go and attempt at this again. So I had to give up on the bathtub because I glued down this mat before I started to sand. And uh, now I can't do anything for the rest of the night. So I have to sand tomorrow and clean this. Um, and I still have a bit more caulking that I missed that needs to come off. But right now I decided to work on the uh, this side of the bathroom and I'm spray painting the, uh, the wall here. But I have to stop and go get the fan because the fumes are a bit much, so I want to blow it all over towards the window. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So that's pretty much it for the rest of the night. I have my hair tied up because I was uh, spray painting, and I think I actually have spray paint up underneath my hair. It doesn't feel nice. I hope I don't. Oh, look, all my purple is showing again, even though my hair was colored black. Isn't that weird? Anyhow. Let's see if I can't see. Uh, I can't see anything. Anyway, I feel like I'm covered in paint back there. Anyhow, um, uh, my glasses are off because they're dirty. I need to clean them. And I'm pretty much done for tonight. My feet are sticking to the floor. I got all of this painted white now. It was this nasty, uh, nasty yellow color on the sink here, but I was able to um, get everything spray painted. I did miss up in one spot. But it's not horrible um, for the sake of um, the paint dripped. Just, just a smidgen, just a smidgen. I got the fan going in here. The window's gonna be open for the rest of the night. Um, it's not, I'm sticking to the floor. It's not overly cold in here, so it's not too bad. 
But uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that done. I don't see anywhere where I would need to go over it again. And the countertop is pretty much dry already and I've been done for not even a half hour. Um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I messed up in one little spot, but that's not too bad. So tomorrow I have to clean the tub because I made a mistake of gluing this thing down. So I put, um, I couldn't wash the tub. So I'm supposed to wash the tub, I'm supposed to sand it, then I'm supposed to wash it again. Then I can paint it. So, um, yeah, uh, I still have quite a bit to do. There's still a bit of caulking that I missed that I have to get off. My feet are sticking to the floor. Um, but that's not, uh, it's not too, too bad. I'm really happy with how the sink turned out so far. It's nice and white. It doesn't look like it's smoke stained. And um, I'm really happy about that. So I still have to paint the cabinet and everything yet. Uh, but that'll be, I'll be doing that with just regular paints and a paintbrush, not a can spray paint, because it's a lot easier that way. But um, I don't think I'm going to do anything else for the rest of the night. It's about quarter to ten. So I gave myself three hours to get some stuff done. It's very echoey in here. And uh, I think I did pretty good for the night. So tomorrow I'll continue. And um, yeah, good, good process or progress tonight, I think. And uh, we'll see what the uh, surround kit looks like uh, tomorrow. I think I'm a, I have the hiccups. I think I actually will paint the wall in here first because I don't want the dust of the spray paint all falling down in the tub once I get the tub painted. So I think what I'll do tomorrow night right away is I'll clean all of this up and uh, sand it down real quick just to make it a little bit gritty, spray paint it, and then move on to the tub once I have the tub cleaned out um, after I get the walls done. So that's that's the plan. So I'm gonna call the vlog done, and um, I hope you like my little hand, and what, what is this called? Craftsmanship? I don't know. I'm not a crafty person. I'm just making this shit up as I go. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.